My name is Lex, I'm from the Netherlands. I'm part of the judging team on the KSP World Tour this year. Um, when we're judging, we're actually working with a panel of five judges. Uh, the highest and the lowest score will drop and the average three or the remaining three will average out into a score the rider will receive for that ridden wave. Uh, now when we look looking at, um, at waves and maneuvers, we want to see top to bottom down the line surfing. Uh, it's um, the linking of the innovative and progressive maneuvers with speed, power and flow that we actually uh, are looking for. Now a, a surfer has to commit to critical sections of a wave. That means that that's the part of the wave where it stands up straight and actually has the most power and it's most difficult to do a turn. So the riders have a choice. They can either go strapped or unstrapped. Um, we take into consideration while judging that strapless riding has a lot higher degree of difficulty. So it's a lot harder to stick those maneuvers in the critical section of the wave to where strapped it's a little bit easier because you got more control of your board and it, it stays with you and uh, it's easier to, to, to land those maneuvers while surfing very radically. So we do take in consideration that strapless riding is harder and it will get scored higher, but only if it looks good. If it doesn't look good, then it doesn't work and you're not getting at that big score. Okay, it's kind of hard to define the perfect wave, but to me, what I really like to see is someone fully committing to every turn and every section and just not holding back at all. And in the end, it's about the overall impression we get when judging. And if you serve the wave good, you're going to get a good score.